Hi, welcome back to the IFN Dhaba. You guys must have eaten a lot of aloo parathas, but this aloo paratha which I'm going to share with you today is a very authentic Punjabi aloo paratha with a twist in it. So keep watching. So let me walk you through the ingredients of what we need to make aloo parathas. So here I have three large potatoes which have been boiled and mashed, one large onion which has been diced, coriander leaves according to your taste, then we have amchur powder 1 teaspoon, we have jeera powder 1 teaspoon, we have ginger which has been diced finely, we have three green chilies diced, we have 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, we have 1 teaspoon of ajwain, we have 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds that is thin, salt per taste. So this is the dough, mint leaves and ghee. So now let's get cooking. So here these are the mashed boiled potatoes that I'm going to be putting into the plate. Alright, in go the diced onions, then go in the coriander leaves, mint leaves, salt, green chilies, diced ginger, coriander powder and ajwain. We add in the amchur powder, then we add in the jeera powder so we are done with all this and now i'm just going to mix it up nicely so here we have the stuffing for the aloo paratha which is ready okay so I will just taste it a little and if you want to add some more salt or some other spice you are free to add. So here I have taken a ball of dough, dusted it nicely okay, and I just roll it out. So here I add the stuffing. And now I just fold it in nicely. So that is it. Close it from all the sides well. Now I will gently roll it out. Roll it out very lightly. Don't exert a lot of pressure on it. Now, I just put in little sesame seeds. So it's equally uniform and nice and you can see the paratha with the sesame seeds on top. So now, I will gently lift it. Carefully turn it the other side. So now I will dribble so just smear it very well all over on the paratha. Now again after smearing it I flip it onto the other side. Again I dribble in the key. You don't have to worry if the sesame seeds come off it's perfectly fine. So now I will just make these small pokes with the spoon or whatever. As you can see how nice and crisp it is.
this is the product so now that we are done with the paratha as you can see the end product so i will just remove it and put it on to a plate so you have seen me taking you through the whole process of making the aloo paratha and believe me it is really really very divine if you like this recipe subscribe to india food network till next time goodbye